Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the cabin. Um, I'm going to walk up here to the outdoor kitchen because I've got something really cool that I want to show you. So I'll meet you up there. I actually stopped and bought a brand new toolbox in order to carry some supplies that I received in the mail. So let me show those to you. So what I've got here uh, are some leather tools. Um, there's a lot of things in here that I don't know what they are, but the fact remains that I'm getting so many tools up here um, that are either saw related, um, they're either chisel related, axe related, uh, knife related. I ordered um, a leather kit uh, from Amazon and so I needed something to carry them in. But there's a lot of different items in here. Um, one of them is kind of like a little hammer or a little maul. Um, I have um, a leather knife right here. See, now this is something that I would actually make um, an end for to be able to slide over the end of that because this is a nice little knife. I've got a small little roller right here to uh, roll the leather out with. Um, this has something to do with uh, edging the material. Got a small compass right here um, for drawing circles and so forth or actually marking the leather. I can adjust my width and I can go down the side of it and I can actually make a line. Got something to pick with right here. Got something to roll um, and actually mark out where I'm actually going to put the holes. We've got a set of punches right here. Here's another little um, wooden awl right here, or I mean a wooden awl. Um, a small leather awl. Here's another roller uh, to make markings with. Here's another type of a, I think this is an edge or two where you can actually mark, but it also looks like it's got not really sure about that. This right here is actually a little knife and I had this little boot and I slid over the top of that. Got a pair of scissors right here. Also have a, another pair of scissors right here. Have a little pair of needle, well not needle nose, but a little pair of pliers. And then in this drawer right here, we've got three different types of um, things that you can actually smooth or um, I can't think of a better word for it, but you can actually um, put this on the leather, I guess, and um, smooth it out. Anyway, we've got three different types of those. They sent me some beeswax right here. I have another little uh, thing to add to sewing right here. I think that's what that is, or that may be an awl as well. They also sent a nice little, if I can get it out here. I put some of that non-skid stuff down in there and it kind of makes it hard to get out. But i uh, got a nice little stainless steel ruler right there. In this drawer, I've got uh, these are some sanding boards. I've got some punches right here that actually round off corners, all different types of sizes. These right here are punches as well, all different types of sizes. The same thing right here, a different type, all different types of sizes. These are actually some stencils, anywhere from butterflies to uh, you name it, it's in there. Uh, but I don't know, there's probably 30 of them in there. Um, got a nice little tape right there. 
got some more um, small, very, very fine, uh, looks like a punch of some sort. But uh, anyway, some extra blades in there. Then, down here in this drawer, I've got needles, of course. I've got a couple of different types of thimbles. I've got some um, cotton swabs, I guess, for staining. We've got four different types of wax rope right here. Different colors. Um, this kit right here is basically a all different types of brads and um, things that you can actually um, put on the leather if you so choose. You know, like snaps and so forth. I guess I better put that in there so they don't all spill over. And of course I've got a small sewing kit that I've kept and I just decided to go ahead and put it in here because basically this is leather sewing, right? And then they sent me a nice little book, but I think what I'll do, um, since YouTube is basically like the Encyclopedia Britannica anymore, I will watch some videos on YouTube on how to work up some leather because honestly I really don't know a whole lot about it. I think that I could make something without watching anything but I would rather watch something so I knew a little bit more about what I was doing and like I said I stopped and bought this um, tool chest right here to keep my stuff in so it doesn't get mixed up with other things and then of course they sent me this nice little board right here to be able to cut on and so forth and do different things with but yeah, my tools, you know, they're very important to me. And it is much, much better to keep a very sharp tool because it makes the job uh, a whole lot easier if the tool is sharp. Of course, it's a whole lot easier to get cut, but you stand a chance of uh, less likely getting cut if your tool is sharp and you watch what you're doing. Because when you have to try to force a tool, that's when your chances increase on getting hurt. So want to be able to keep the saws and everything that I've got um, in nice working condition. Now, I don't think I'll be taking any leather and making, you know, for my hand saws, but some of my other little bitty saws that I have, um, especially all of my chisels, my knives, my axes, and things of that nature, they need to be protected. So that is the reason that I bought this, and I'm beginning to accumulate so many, I figured it was time to go ahead and do that so that is the newest um, set of toys or set of tools uh, that I've got to play with so um, I'm looking forward to making some of those up and we may even do a video on it on making a boot for one of the uh, chisels down there but uh, anyway I wanted to show that to you because I'm kind of excited about it you know I was just sitting here thinking I think this is uh, getting close to ending the third year that we've been on YouTube and I myself and I can also speak for my children uh, my son and daughter Patrick and Jennifer we want to um, from the bottom of our heart thank you guys so much for following um, our main channel mainly because that's where most of the views come from this channel right here is not watched that much um, and we've got some ideas about changing this channel up a little bit um, but we'll tell you about that after the first of the year, but uh, you know it has really been a wonderful adventure to be able to video and film everything that we're doing up here and all of the nice comments and um, letters and gifts that we have received Lord have mercy uh, and everything so we want to really thank you guys very very much um, deeply from the bottom of our heart for all the support that you uh, have given us in, in watching um, both of the channels. But like I say, mainly Smoky Mountain Outpost because that's where most of the views come from. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I've got some company coming uh, in about three hours and i got some things that I need to do. But we certainly do uh, appreciate you stopping by and watching. We want to thank you very much for that. We want to wish you a great day. Happy Holidays, by the way, 
and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.